One of the most popular FlightSimulationGuru.com videos here on YouTube was a previous review that I did on a SciTech joystick and how it was used with Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'll take that as a hint that people like these sorts of videos, and therefore today at FlightSimulationGuru.com we are reviewing the SciTech Pro Flight rudder pedals. As I'm sure most people watching this video already know, a rudder system is an important part of an aircraft's overall flight control system. On most aircraft, the rudder pedals control, obviously, the rudder, which is usually located in the tail section of the aircraft, but they also often control the braking systems, allowing for independent operation of both the left and right hand brake systems. Overall, I was very impressed with the SciTech Pro Flight rudder pedals. Although real rudder pedals are usually made out of metal, and these are made out of plastic, the plastic construction is quite robust and very thick, and so it's quite a sturdy apparatus. Each of the footrests is independently adjustable in terms of the size. Uh, I would comment that it's a bit uncomfortable to use if you're not wearing shoes, uh, which is slightly annoying given that you don't usually wear shoes in the house when I'm using Flight Simulator, but uh, I suppose in real life people gen generally don't fly barefoot either, so uh, that's just something you have to deal with. Um, but overall, it's it's very sturdy operation, there's a lot of free movement along the axis in terms of operating the rudders, and also along the brake axes in terms of depressing the rudder pedals. Uh, and so this allows you to have quite a lot of control over the aircraft systems. Setup of the rudder pedals to use with Flight Simulator is quite straightforward. The entire system connects to your computer using a standard USB interface, uh, which is pretty much immediately recognized by Flight Simulator, although you might want to play around a bit with the sensitivity for the controls because you may want the brakes to be more or less sensitive, and similarly with the yaw for the rudders, you might want that to be a little more or less sensitive depending on your own personal preferences. The only sort of annoying thing that I found using this system is that it's difficult to have it on the floor and not move around very much as you're actually using the rudder pedals. If you can imagine this thing is lying flat on the floor and you're pushing with your feet uh, sort of in a horizontal direction and the rudder pedals will slide along the floor if they're not properly adhered. Now they do provide you with some adhesive velcro strips and uh, to be honest, this isn't particularly adequate in terms of solving this problem. Uh, you know, on the one hand, you could attach these strips directly to your floor, not something I would recommend unless you want to ruin your floor. It won't really adhere to carpet, uh, the gluey side of the strip. Um, I wouldn't put the gluey side of the strip on a hardwood floor if you have those because you might damage it. And the Velcro side, if you try to attach that directly to your carpet and get it to stick on the carpet itself, uh, it doesn't really work so well either. So to be honest, the best way i found to use these pedals without sort of attaching them to some sort of massive baseboard that you're going to use to stabilize it is to just have the back of the rudder pedals touch something solid whether that be a wall or in my case I usually put a few large books at the back of the rudder pedals between the wall and the rudder pedals and therefore when I push on either of the pedals I'm pushing against the books which then push against the wall and that seems to stabilize the whole thing it works quite well and uh, it's pretty simple I don't have to have any sort of permit installation there when I'm done I can put the books back on my bookshelf and put the rudder pedals back in the closet and I don't have to have anything permanently attached to the floor uh, but this is definitely an issue which you'll have to deal with it's not a deal breaker by any means uh, but you'll have to find out whichever sort of setup works best for you because it is quite annoying if the rudder pedals are sliding all over the floor as you're trying to fly. Finally, I know there's a lot of people out there who are looking to spend only a limited amount on accessories for flight simulation, which is perfectly understandable, and they're trying to decide you know, do they want a flight yoke, or do they want a fancy joystick, or do they want to have these rudder pedals. Um, to be honest, I would say uh, if you're going to prioritize these sorts of things, the rudder pedals are probably pretty low down on the list. And I only say that, and I'm sure some people out there are going to scream at me in the comments for saying the rudder pedals aren't as important. But, uh, you know, in terms of the amount of time you actually use each of those bits throughout uh, flying around, you're going to use the rudder pedals less than you're going to use a flight yoke and less than you're going to use a throttle control, for example. So, you know, if you're, if you're not looking to buy all of it, then I would say focus 
focus first on your flight yoke, focus on your, your throttle control. Uh, the rudder pedals are, are really secondary. You can always sort of assign a button to control the brakes. Obviously that's not as, as fun as having uh, independent brake controls with your feet, but you know, sometimes you have to make some sacrifices. And, and to be honest, this is one area where you could probably get away with it and, and, and not really cause too much trouble. I would just quickly point out though, of course, that if you have a flight yoke, but you don't have rudder pedals, you're gonna have to have some other way of controlling the rudder because normally on a joystick you would sort of twist the joystick with your wrist and that would control the rudder but you don't really have that sort of movement on a flight yoke because the twisting motion there is actually controlling uh, the aircraft flying left to right not not the rudder controls and so that's something to consider if you have another joystick you could actually use a joystick to control the rudders if you wanted to but through most flying unless you're flying a strong crosswind you're not going to be using the rudders much anyway and and you could really probably get away without it uh, if, if you're looking to save a bit of money and on that note about flight yokes, definitely stay tuned for a future episode of FlightSimulationGuru.com's podcast, where we will be reviewing Cytec's flight yoke and their uh, throttle quadrant control system, which is available. Something which I also quite enjoyed and I'll enjoy sharing with you at some point in the future. So in conclusion, I really enjoyed the Pro Flight rudder pedals. Overall, I thought it's an excellent system. It's pretty easy to set up. It's a very robust setup. And my only major concern was the way that they tend to slide around on the floor, but a little bit of tinkering around was able to fix that without too much trouble. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you have, please consider subscribing to my videos to be automatically notified of any new ones as they can become available, including that video, by the way, of the review I'm going to do shortly of the Pro Flight flight yoke and throttle control system. You'll also find some links over on the right hand side in the video's description to some more commentary about other accessories for flight simulation software and general technology discussion over at flightsimulationguru.com.